Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about find the value of a function. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. All right, we'll start with an example here, example six. And we want to find, we want to evaluate this function at specific points, specific spots. So we have f of x equals x squared plus 3x minus 4. And we're going to evaluate that at a at 2. All right, so let's do that first one here, 2. Well, if we're going to do it at 2, we then take our function f of x and put 2 in for x. f of 2 equals 2 squared plus 3 times 2 minus 4. All right, well, let's simplify that. 2 squared is 4. 3, plus, 3 times 2 is 6 minus 4. And 4 plus 6 minus 4 is 6. The 4s kind of cancel. We're left with 6. Not too bad. Part B, another one. We want to evaluate it at A. Okay? Well, that's actually not too bad either. F of replace A in for X. A equals A squared plus 3 times A minus 4. And that's really it. I mean, you don't have that parentheses around the A there, but so you want to write like this, a squared plus 3a minus 4. But essentially here, we're evaluating it at a, right? Put a over x, and that's it. Not, not too bad. Okay? Well, about c. c is a little tricky here. <clears throat> c is at a plus h. So we take our function, f of x, and for every x, we're putting a plus h in. a plus h equals a plus h squared plus 3 times a plus h minus 4. All right? Well, then from there, what do we do? All right, let's look at a plus h. Well, we have multiply that out, and that comes out to be a squared plus 2ah plus h squared plus, distribute the 3, 3a plus 3h minus 4. So don't forget to distribute that. That's it. There are no more like terms here, so we're there. a squared plus 2ah plus h squared plus 3a plus 3h minus 4. All right. Lastly, for d, they give us this. We want to evaluate f of a plus h minus f of a over h. And this is actually something you will see a little more often later on, but in, uh, especially in calculus, but we'll see it here. Luckily, we found some of these values. We found f of a plus h, and we found f of a. Okay, so let's go put those in. We know f of a plus h here is a squared plus 2ah plus h squared plus 3a plus 3h minus 4 minus f of a. Make sure you get all of it. a squared plus 3a minus 4 all over h. Okay? Well, let's see what we can cancel out. A squared and the minus, we distribute that right here, right, to all parts, minus A squared, all right, 3A here and the minus of 3A cancel, minus 4 minus another minus 4, well, that cancels as well. So what are we left with? In the numerator, 2AH plus H squared plus 3H, right, that part, that part, and that part, all over H. Notice that H is in every single part here. So we can cancel out one of them for each part. We're left with a 2a plus h plus 3, okay? And that's it. That's what all that simplified here came out to be, that 2a plus h plus 3. All right. I'm going to erase this, and we'll dive into another example. So number 7, we're given the function h of p is equal to p squared plus 2p, and we want to evaluate that at h of 4, okay? So all we want to do is plug 4 in for p. So h of 4 is equal to 4 squared plus 2 times 4, and a lot of times I'll put parentheses around items that I am substituting in so I don't forget it. But let's simplify that. 4 squared is 16. 2 times 4 is 8. 
And that's pretty easy, 16 plus 8 is 24. So h of 4 is equal to 24. Not too bad. Let's go to another example, 8. So given the function, let's say h of p equals p squared plus 2p again. Okay, similar function, or same function actually. We want to find or evaluate, solve for h of p equals 3. So this is a little different, right? We're not plugging in 3 for p, but we're finding when our equation is equal to 3. So we take p squared plus 2p, and we set it equal to 3 here. Okay, that's when h of p equals 3. Well, in doing so, let's see what we can uh, factor out here. All right, if there's anything. Well, actually, we got to subtract the 3 to both sides. So we have p squared plus 2p minus 3. Set it equal to 0. And then now we can factor. Okay, and factor that. This comes to be p plus 3. And then p minus 1 equals 0. So set each one of those equal to 0. And p equals minus 3 and a positive 1 there. So those are two solutions here for when our h of p, p, which equals p squared plus 2p, is equal to 3. Okay? So those are two values there for that. Okay? All right. So the next part here is that we're going to express, or evaluating functions expressed in formulas. Okay? In formulas. So, number 9. All right, we're going to find an equation of a function. Express the relationship 2n plus 6p equals 12 as a function p equals f of n, if possible. Okay? All right. So we want to write this again, p as a function of n. So this is where it goes. P is a function of n here, okay? So P has to equal some expression, some expression involving n, okay? All right, so we have our 2n plus 6p equals 12. All right. Well, we want to get p by itself. So to do that, we subtract a 2n uh, to both sides, giving us 6p equals 12 minus 2m. All right. Divide both sides by 6, and p equals, well, 12 divided by 6 is 2, and 2 divided by 6 is 1 third, so we have minus 1 third here at n. And we're kind of there, pretty much, right? So p is a function of n, so we can write it like this, p is equal to some function here of n, which is 2 minus 1 third n there, okay? All right, I'm gonna dive into another example, but first, I gotta clear my board. I'll see you in a minute. So number 10 here. Does the equation x squared plus y squared equal one represent a function with x as the input and y as the output. Is this a function? Okay. Well, this equation is the equation of a circle. So we want to see if we can express this as a function. Okay. Well, if we subtract x squared to both sides, we have y squared by itself is equal to a minus x squared plus 1, or more commonly seen, y squared equals 1 minus x squared. Okay. If we take the square root of both sides, we have this. y equals the square root plus or minus 1 minus x squared. So we have two values here. y equals a positive 1 minus x squared and square root of 1 minus x squared. Okay? Well, we have within one input, we could have two different. Oh, this is minus, right? A minus here. So the square root, we have minus, square root of 1 minus x squared. So one input could give us two different outputs. Is that a function? No, right? That's not a function. If we graph both of these, 
separately y equals this and y equals that, we'd get two semicircles, the top half and bottom half of a circle. So no, y, this is not a function here, okay? So now let's go evaluate in table form, okay? Number 11. So I'm gonna go write out this table. I'll see you in a minute. All right, our first question here says evaluate g of three. So notice here our n equals three if it's g of three. So when n equals three, for whatever this function is in our table, what is g of n? Well, g of n, or g of three, is seven. So g of three equals seven. We don't know specifically what this function is, but they gave us a function and we call it our table form, or tabular form, okay? And what that does is sometimes we don't actually see it as an equation, well this isn't a function, but we can see it in tables and we can use that to find our value. So our input is three, output put was seven there. Part B asks us this, we'll solve here, g of n is equal to six. So now what we're, we're asked a different question, what n value gives us an output of six? So if we look at that, and I'll put a six that's right here, right? An input was two. So if n is two, right, we get an output of six. So g of two equals six. And two was the input that we were looking at, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go erase some of this and we'll get another example here, but with a graph, okay? So I'm gonna erase this so it's all clear. We can talk about this graph. Okay, so we have our graph right here, okay? And we don't really know specifically what this function is, but they tell us that we wanna evaluate f of two and solve f of x equals four. So let's deal with a first here, okay? So to evaluate, so evaluate when, what f of two is, two is our input, that's when x equals two there, okay? So if x equals two, then we can read the y coordinate of that point. So we look at our graph and say, okay, so when x is two, what is the y coordinate? And we see that is one, okay? Right there, all right? So our f of two is equal to one. What about part b? They ask us here, solve for when f of x equals four. Well, f of x equals four is really like a, it's a horizontal line, right? It's like y equals four. So if we graph that line, we can see well, what values, what x values cause that? And here we have two x values that we see. We see x values of negative one comma four, so x value of negative one, and this happens at three comma four. So we have a height of four, but an x value of three as well. So our two solutions here, two values that work, that f of negative one equals four, and f of three also equals four. So there are two values for x that would give us an output of 4, which is fine, which still allows this to be a function. All right? So I hope you learned something here on find the value of function. If you did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So, as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math, minutemathtutor.com.